morning, Byron Schools. Welcome to the Byron News Network. My name is Nick. And I'm Quinn. Today is Wednesday, November 1st, 2017. It is an A-Day. Attention all Code Club mem programmers. The first ever meeting of the Byron Code Club will take place after school today. Students will need a charged Chromebook. You must have a signed permission slip turned in to Mr. Capriotti to attend. Rampage, your next meeting is also today after school in Mr. Clayton's room. Come ready to work and have a ride ready to pick you up at 430. Attention all students, mindfulness, relaxation, and stretching will begin today during your recess period. Sign out of recess outside of the main office on Wednesday. Mrs. Bullock will meet you there and bring you to the location. This, this is a great break from your day and a fun way to relax. See Mrs. Bullock with questions. Attention Drama Club, thank you for all who had auditioned for a loud or speaking part in this year's play, Once Upon a Mattress. Callbacks are now posted on the drama board in the all-purpose room and online on the school's drama club website. We have a ton of talented students to try out this year, and even if you didn't call back, there's still a place for you in the show. Callbacks will be today from right after school until 5. Please have a ride ready to pick you up after. After callbacks have happened, a more defined rehearsal schedule for November will be become available. Reminder that the safety patrol meeting is today after school in Mrs. Spring's classroom. Jobs will be assigned at this meeting. Please make sure you have a ride home at 4.30. There's a lot of stuff happening after school today. Today's band lessons are beginner flutes period 2, advanced flutes period 4, beginner clarinets period 7, and advanced band period 8. Tomorrow's lessons are advanced clarinets period 4, beginner alto saxophones period 7, and advanced alto saxophones period 8. There's a peer leadership meeting tomorrow after school until 4.15 in Ms. Hooker's room. We wanted to remind you to please bring in your six dollars to your home teacher for the grade level parties we'll be having this year. Girls basketball packets are due to Mr. Best. If you need more time to have the health forms filled out, let me let Mr. Best know and turn in all other paperwork. Boys basketball packets are now available in Mr. Clayton's room in the main office. Childs will be seventh and eighth graders only. Next up today we bring you a story from Garrett and Nick. Game 7 of the World Series is tonight, but they spoke to different teachers and students about their predictions over the past few weeks. Throughout the past weeks, we have gone out to interview people about the Yankees postseason. We interviewed some students and teachers about what they thought. Here are the interviews. Do you like the New York Yankees? Yes. How do you think they're doing in the postseason? Really good. Do you think they're going to win the World Series? Um, they have a chance, but I don't think they are. So I love the Yankees. How do you think they're doing in the postseason? I think they're doing really good. I um, hope they win tonight and uh, lead the Series 3-2. to two. Do you think they're going to go to the World Series? Yeah. Who do you want to win the postseason? Yankees all the way, baby. Why? Because they're my favorite team and they're the underdogs right now. So. Who do you want to win the postseason? Uh, the Astros. Why? Because I hate the Yankees. Who do you want to win the World Series? Uh, Astros. Do you like the New York Yankees? Yes. How do you think they're doing in the postseason? Very good. Do you think they're going to win? Hopefully. What, how do you think the Yankees did last night? All right, so at this point of this interview, it's two to two, right? Two games to two. Um, they, they got beat up in, in, in Houston. Like, not bad. But the last two games, the, the, their offense is ridiculous. Aaron Judge is the man, and Gary Sanchez finally broke out of his big slump because he was 0 for 18, I think, before his double last night. So as long as the offense keeps clicking, their pitching staff is awesome. So I have high hopes. Who do you want to win the postseason? The Yankees, absolutely. Why? Uh, they've been my favorite team my whole life, and I really enjoy the young players on the team right now. And Aaron Judge is my favorite player in the world. What do you think of last night's game? It was amazing. I actually was standing for the last three innings because I was so excited. Finally today, we go to David and Ray. They wanted to share their passion for riding ATVs with the rest of the school. This week, we interviewed some students who ride. Let's go see what they thought. What type of quad do you ride? I have a Raptor 125 lightweight. What do you ride? Suzuki Ozark 250. And XR80R Honda. I ride a 2017 Polaris 450 HF. Ride. Honda 4 tracks 300. Where do you ride? 
by the power lines. Mostly in Pennsylvania, but sometimes over by Lake Lackawanna. Right around my house and around my uncle's farm. The woods by our house. My backyard with like 48 acres and on the railroad. How long have you been riding? For 10 years. Since I was four. Okay, thank you. What do you like about your quad? I like everything about my quad. Um, it's fast. We don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. That's it for a Wednesday episode. Let's close things out with a song of the day. It's the campfire song, the C-A-M-P-F-I-R-E-S-O-N-G song. Make it a great day, bye.